Women who have ever utilized the service of a male prostitute. What was the experience like? Hi reddit guys. Subscribe now. Or I will pull down my pants. I was at a very low point in my life while I was living in Mexico. Mexico has an abundance of Shrek's work and prostitution. I paid a male prostitute just to cuddle and have him listen to my feelings. It was a good experience. I have abs and am a great listener. Man, Frick working at a warehouse. I'd gladly get paid to cuddle. You might be happy to hear it's an actual job and you could get paid for it. Google professional cuddler. I was just out of a marriage that had turned Shrexless for the final years and my Shrex drive came back with a vengeance. I had a terrible Tinder date that made me feel super unsafe, so I booked a Shrex worker. He was delightful and lovely and I felt safe and in control. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. I saw him twice then met my partner shortly thereafter. But it was a great experience and I was so happy I did it. As a male prostitute, Shrek's worker it's rare to get hired for a simple one on one interaction and it's more for things like birthdays, bachelorette parties, etc. But when I do get hired one on one it's more for people who want the experience, instead of desperation or things like that. My boss hires them for herself all the time and as her e. A I have to book the guy, she uses him so regularly we just call his personal number and he knows me by name. Nice guy to be honest. Interesting. Is her use of escorts known among staff, or is it more discreet and you know, because you're the e, e, a, scorts, it's in the pay. Reading the comment section is difficult. I'm going to offer an answer. Though I have never paid for male escorts a fairly well off and incredibly attractive friend of mine has. She has a high powered career and is traveling the majority of the year. Her sights are focused on building her career as quickly as possible so, she doesn't currently have time for a relationship. She has paid for male escorts several times a year. Her reasoning is that she would rather have no strings attached Shreks with a professional rather than risk being disappointed and go through the motions of getting ready for a night out, going to the bar, etc. She explained to me that efficiency and reliability is everything. She is able to request an up-to-date STD test prior to the date and can expect complete discretion. All you people saying women shouldn't have to pay for Shreks are valid. But if you want some quality control it makes sense to pay a premium. Your last point is great and should be used for almost everything in life. I can go get dirt out my backyard to plant some veggies, but it'll probably go to the store and buy the good dirt lol. As someone who works in a potting soil factory, can confirm, get the good soil. I recommend trying to get soil made specifically for the application you're going to use it for. Sure, all purpose will likely work fine, but you'll be better off if you plant African violets in some African violet specific soil, and plant vegetables in vegetable specific soil. Came for dirty stories, instead got dirt advice. I never thought there would be much of a difference in the soil other than the packaging and price, um. The funny thing is, depending on the brand, there can be a big difference, though that's probably not always reflected in the price. Try to study the ingredients list, and see what all is there. Peat moss, composted bark, both coarse and fine, perlite, vermiculite, dairy compost, several different types of fertilizers, some of which are extended release and really cool, dolomitic lime, and occasionally other random additives to get desired effects can all go into it. Also, if you ever see styrofoam bits in your soil, that's a heads up it's cheap crap. I should stress here, we don't use styrofoam at the company I work for. We use perlite instead, which, while it looks roughly the same, white bits in the soil, and it does the same job, it, according to my boss, helps break up, aerate the soil. Perlite doesn't have the same environment impact, since perlite is basically volcanic rock if I understand things correctly. I'm a female FSS way who is Bashrekshul. I have hired other female providers for myself in the past, but a few years ago, I decided to book a male escort. I booked a dinner date. It was hilarious, because he worked for an agency and he knew nothing about me, save my name. 
I had been seated at the bar while the table was being prepared and he walked past me twice. He thought I was going to be some weird older lady, so he said. We had a nice dinner, he was a true gentleman. We did end up having Shreks. He was exceptionally good looking, but had a huge dong. I prefer a more average size, it's much more comfortable for me. I did reveal I was also an escort and we had a good laugh. For anyone who needs to look it up. FSSW equals full service Shreks worker. Oh thanks. I assumed the F stands for female. Female super Shreks worker. I'm a female FSS way who is the Shrek shul. I have hired other female providers for myself in the past. Is this like the therapy thing? Where therapists often go to therapy themselves. Because they spend so much time dealing with other people's issues that they need a professional outlet for their own. They have these sort of gigolos in exotic vacation areas like Jamaica for example that cater to older, wealthier women who are looking for the whole nine yards, not just Shreks. It's the company, Romance and Shreks they are paying for. This sort of thing is rare as you can imagine, but there are women looking for a good time with company and an exotic male to do it with as the women themselves may be single or something. Yep, in Egypt as well in the beachy areas. Older British women, mid 40s and up, will hire a young, early 20s, Egyptian buck as her boyfriend for the one two weeks she's on vacation. He pretends to be her boyfriend, lavishes her with attention, buys her flowers and takes her out to dinner and out dancing, paying, of course, with the money she is providing, and yes, Shreks. She pays handsomely compared to the local wages, but not so much in terms of British wages. I thought it was bullshit till I saw it with my own eyes. There is no way these British women were just randomly dating these young guys. And, frankly, no way some 20 year Egyptian guy is paying exorbitant western prices out of his own pocket in some tourist bar just to flirt with some middle aged tourist. No freaking way. Definitely the she's paying vibe. Similar, but not exactly the same to when you see some super old dude with a college age woman hanging all over him. I worked with an Egyptian guy and after about 4 weeks working together told me that he used to be a yigalo. I, like all normal men, couldn't believe women would be paying someone I know for shreks. Then he showed me a picture of him when he was 12 years younger, a scuba diving instructor, handsome, ripped to shreds, and all these pictures of him with Russian. Ukrainian and Balkans women pre-2008 crash. All 30-45 years old. He would take them out scuba diving in the day. At night he would wine and dine them. At night. To quote him, eat out until my jaw hurt. Said he was making four times more money than his brother who was a corrupt policeman. He left Egypt post-financial crisis and went into engineering full-time. He spent 6 months living with a Russian lady in Egypt whose husband had died 2 year previously. She was 66 and just wanted some 6 feet 3 arm candy to take her dancing. 4 meals and, to quote him throw her around like a rag doll and enjoy what little time she had left in her hips. She gave him $50000 as a tip on top of his fee by way of thanks when her children demanded she came home to deal with the last of the father's estate rather than spending his hard stolen money on Egyptian men. His life story would make an amazing movie. Yeah, they aren't unheard of in Europe, either, you can find them in places like Mykonos or Bodrum if you know what to look for. They're escorts in a slightly more literal sense. More like temporary boyfriends for the duration of the woman's vacation than straight up prostitutes. A good friend was a male escort. Most his gigs were by very attractive yet professional ladies that didn't want to deal with the hubbub of dating. He was a legit escort, so no shreks was implied. He'd get hired for parties and occasions where a date coming would be appropriate. He also mentioned if they struck his fancy and offered a tip at the end of the night, Shreks wasn't out of the question. Usually it's the guy that offers the tip, but okay. This is all accounted from my buddy, who was the male escort. I never have before, but it would probably be a better experience than going on Tinder slash meeting some guy who will give you the bare minimum and leave when they're satisfied. I agree. It can be a good experience and it's easier than playing games. Bare minimum. But you still need the full panel STD test. 
Honestly, depending on costs it might be cheaper to just get an escort. No paying for Uber, condoms, STD tests, meals, clocktails, time getting ready, none of it. So much time in general. Just open the door in your bathrobe and you're good. I know I'm not a woman, but given the lack of real responses in here, my wife and I have hired a male Shrek's worker on two occasions. We'd had a couple of regular, in, and paid, mother frickerm threesomes previously, but they're hard to organize and kind of have to be a two-way street if that makes sense. With the Shrek's workers, we were able to explore ourselves more, a chance for me to see if I was as interested in experimenting with a guy in real life as I was in my head, and a chance for her to focus on her own pleasure from two guys without needing to try and satisfy them quite so much which she had found distracting previously. And all with no strings. All told, we'd definitely do it again as we both got a lot out of the easy parients, but it's much harder to organize than a similar, paid, mother frick her three score given the lack of people doing the job. And the males who do do this sort of work have, in our experience either been very straight, focused on the older wealthier female clientele mentioned in a lot of these replies, or very gay and not wanting a woman in the room. As such, it's not something we've done for some time now, even though we'd like to. I should mention that we are from Australia where this is all quite legal and reasonably safe for all concerned. Without needing to try and satisfy them quite so much which she had found distracting previously. This is my number one concern about mother frick herm threesomes. I had a mother frick herm threesome years ago with my boyfriend at the time and our close friend. It was pretty chill. Our friend didn't have a lot of experience, so we were mostly focused on him, but since we were all beshrexual it was easy to just follow the energy and whatever happened, happened. Okay reddit guys, subscribe now, or I will pull down my pants.